Let's write the name for P4O10. And this one's a little bit tricky. So we'll start off with a more standardized name for P4O10. We look at phosphorus and oxygen. Phosphorus is a nonmetal and oxygen. They're both nonmetals. So this will be a molecular compound and we need to use prefixes when we write the name. So we have phosphorus and we have four of them. Four means tetra. So we'll call this tetraphosphorus. And then we have 10 oxygen atoms. So 10, that's dec or deca. So we'll write phosphorus decoxide. And this would be a correct way to write the name for P4O10. There are two more common ways that we'll see it written though. For historical reasons, most of the time you'll see P4O10 called phosphorus pentoxide. In fact, this is the IUPAC name for P4O10. Sometimes you'll see it called diphosphorus pentoxide as well. And if we wrote that out, that would look like this. In this case, we have the empirical formula, two phosphorus atoms for every five oxygens. Here it's just double, four phosphorus for every 10. So the empirical formula was discovered earlier. Later, when scientists had more advanced techniques, they realized that it was P4O10, that we had four phosphorus atoms bonded to 10 oxygen atoms. But because of this historical context here, you'll often hear this called phosphorus pentoxide or diphosphorus pentoxide. All of these are the same molecule, P4O10. This is Dr. B with the name for P4O10. Thanks for watching.